Hello students, welcome back. Let's solve the next question which says there are two identical resistors of 24 ohms each that are connected to a battery of 6 volt. Calculate the ratio of the power consumed by the resulting combinations with minimum resistance and maximum resistance. Alright, so here we have two identical resistors each having value of 24 ohms. So there are two resistors of 24 ohm each and they are connected to a battery of 6 volt. Now these two resistors are to be connected in such a way that they will produce a minimum resistance and in the second case we will connect them in such a way that they will produce the maximum resistance in the circuit and then we will find out what will be the ratio of the power consumed in both the cases. So we know that we will get a minimum resistance in the circuit if the resistors are connected in parallel. So we will connect these two resistors in parallel to get the minimum resistance and in order to get the maximum resistance we will have to connect the two resistors in series. Let us first connect them in parallel combination and then in series then we will find out the power consumed in each of them. So here we have connected the two resistors one in parallel combination and another in the series combination. Now let us find out what is the effective resistance in both the cases. So for this parallel combination the effective resistance Rp is given by R by N. How did I get this formula? I have explained this in a video. I will place the link of the video in the description box. You can check it out. So this formula is applicable to find out the equivalent resistance of two resistors which are identical in value. That is if the two resistors are of same value and they are connected in parallel we can apply this formula to get the effective resistance. So Rp is R by N where R is the value of each resistor and N is the number of resistors. So here the value of each resistor is 24 and the number of resistors is 2. So here we have Rp is 12. That means the effective resistance in parallel we got it as 12 ohm. Alright. So now we have the effective resistance. Now let us find out the power. Now the voltage is given here. So I write voltage is given as 6 volt. The formula for power connecting voltage and resistance is given by the equation P is equal to V square by R. V is 6 so it is 6 square that is 6 into 6 by the effective resistance in parallel is 12. That is power consumed by the resistors when they are connected in parallel that is when they possess minimum resistance is given by 3 watt. So this is the power consumed when the resistance is minimum. Now come to the maximum resistance. The formula for finding out the maximum resistance when the identical resistors are connected in series is given by Rs is equal to N into R. The details of this formula also I have shared in the same video so you can check that out. So now substituting the values N is the number of resistors which is 2 and the value of each resistor that is R is 24. So the resistance in series is given by 48 ohm. Now let us find out the power consumed. Now power is V square by R. The value of V is given as 6. So it is 6 into 6 by R is 48 over here. So we get 3 by 4 which is 0 0.75 watt. So the power of the combination when the resistance is maximum is given by 0 0.75 watt. Now we will find out the ratio of the power consumed by the combination with minimum resistance to the maximum resistance. So this is the minimum resistance and this is the maximum resistance. So it is P P by P S that is 3 watt by 0 0.75 watt that is 300 by 75 that is 4 by 1. So our answer is power with, with the minimum resistance to the power with the maximum resistance is 4 is to 1. So this is your final answer. So I hope you are clear with the solution. 
If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I have shared the link of the playlist in the description box. I am sure it will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.